It can feel like no one's doing anything about the climate crisis. Why is that? We all know what the world needs, but everyone is thinking about how much money we have. Money makes the world go round, and all around the school, kids ask each other, have you got a pound? It only took a few generations of unemployment for a sort of social stagnation to set in. We can't bring back the good old days down the coal mines, but the future is a green transformation where environmentally friendly technologies and practices take hold. Even making this film has been an ironic story of environmental harms. We have bought equipment, driven minibuses, gone for fast food, and even had bonfires. We are the problem, but we still want to see a green transformation. What's wrong? Haven't you ever heard a hypocrite before? We need to change Levermouth for the better. Can we be a climate beacon? There used to be a railway line to Levermouth, and now it has returned. The rail campaign has arrived at its destination, bringing the trains back to Levermouth with two new stations linking it to the Fife Circle. Trains and bikes go together well to provide a viable alternative to cars. We're on track for sustainable travel. This is Sandy Bray Punk Track. It's been given a makeover to encourage more and more people to ride a bike. This is Eden Smith. She is a racer and she has got lots of prizes for riding very fast. Cycling has always been popular in Levermouth. We have the lowest levels of car ownership in Scotland. Hopefully we'll have the highest levels of bicycle ownership one day. This is Claire, Claire Buck Haven in Methyl, and we're at the wood shop and bike shop and we repair bikes. These bikes are donated by members of the public. Some come for police stations. The purpose of this is so we could get these bikes up and running. We sell some of them, but basically give them away to members of the public. Nurseries get them for free. Children's groups get them for free. Clear's trying to improve the area that we live in. It plants bulbs, flowers, trees to make the place look better. Petrol's bad for your environment, whereas a bike is good for your environment and good for the people. It gets you fit, gets you healthy, makes you feel better. Cyclists take it off in Levermouth! Yeah. yeah! We do have some extraordinary people who give us hope. One of them is Peter Wright, our eight-year-old volunteer litter picker. He's been cleaning up the bird scheme for 20 years. My name's Peter Wright. I've seen the bird scheme for many a long year. It's full of very good people, and that makes a big difference. And I've been litter picking for about the last eight, nine years for Clear, the local environmental charity. Just helps to make a difference, keeps them out a little down. That the people in the bird scheme appreciate the fact that somebody does volunteer to pick up the litter. We live in a beautiful country in Scotland. It's spoiled by litter and fly tipping. If we're going to do something about it, then let's do it. There is no need to drop litter at all, but if you see it, pick it up. Pupils have to learn how to figure out what to do because the adults don't seem to know yet. And one place that is supposed to help them is the secondary school, Levermouth Academy. At the back of the school, there is Bats Wood, which was planted with 9,000 trees and a permaculture circle of berry bushes and willows. Over the year, Mr. Zill and his pupils have been digging ditches and filling them with compost to create excellent conditions for growing willow. Willow is a tree which is a superpower. If you plant a branch of a willow tree, it grows roots and becomes another willow tree. You can make living growing fences with them. Mr Zool imagines that he could make a fence out of willow to protect young trees from the roe deer that overgraze on campus. They are too lazy to break through the willow fences and if they nibble at the fence it should grow back. It's an idea that makes trees planting just about tree planting and not about planting anything else like plastic or bamboo canes or wooden sticks. But trees grow very slowly and wood burns very quick. The idea about growing trees fast enough to really combat climate change is debatable. What about fossil fuels? In the UK, fully, a third of our carbon emissions come from heating our houses, mostly from gas boilers using gas. This is El Carboni from Scottish Gas Networks and she's the new stakeholder and community manager for the project. She's brought us to a viewpoint where we can see the whole project. Why should we change from natural gas to hydrogen gas? 
We are moving towards what is called net zero by 2045 in Scotland. Green hydrogen is very good for the environment because it doesn't produce any emissions when it's burned or was it's produced. Why was leaving my chosen? By keeping in DNB, which was in amongst our nationwide search um, to understand which site in the UK would have been the best for our world first project H105. We have a dedicated energy park, so we also have access to offshore wind. The area has a rich history in energy, in coal being a major ex export up until the 60s. So that's what made it an ideal location. What do you offer to the people who decide to participate in H105? Up to 300 homes will have the opportunity to join us in this project. These homes will receive brand new appliances to replace their existing natural gas appliances. We will offer to all participants free servicing and maintenance for the duration of the trial, provided by the engineers that will be trained locally at Five College. We will offer our participants a £1,000 incentive as well, and that is our way to say thank you for supporting us throughout the project, throughout the trial. People who like the community setup might not seem like a violent friendly place, but it goes to show not get people to be environment friendly if they're not I've got a job to pay the bills. The green transformation has to include everybody around here or they're not going to be interested in the climate crisis. The industrial landscape of Fife, with its water-powered mills, has long disrupted the River Leven. It's been an adventurous and sometimes dangerous place to play for local young people for generations. Only now are we thinking about how the river could be restored. Here we are down at Burn Mill Dam and this landscape is going to be getting transformed into a fish passage for the fish because obviously you've got the rocks and the big waterfall blocking the fish so we're going to terraform it into a fish passage getting rid of all this to make the fish be able to get from point A to B. This is part of the leaving programme and a number of wider projects to make the climate change easier on methyl and leaving. But this transformation isn't going to suit everyone. Some of us will say they want things to stay the same. Some of us will say they want things to be better and to take a risk. It's a bit of a struggle to know who we should listen to. Do you feel like you're listening to me yet? No. Because I'm a bear, obviously, so nobody's going to listen to me. I do want my damn fixed. Because I bet the half the people that are doing their doing that right now do even come for you. But they're more doing the damn. They do go to the damn, they do walk through the damn, they do take their dogs in the damn, they do know. And they're coming in my hometown to try to change it. Do you know like that? No, I don't. Know. And how do you feel about it? Very sad. Like I could start crying. Why? Because of the damn. I want it to be bra. And no horrible. And at the same time, I don't really see no point because it's just going to get burnt, ruined, broken. So, but like at the same time, I do see the point. Do you like living here? Not really. No? No, not really. I feel like there's one too many problems, so like you can't really pinpoint what you would do with all the money in the world to fix it because there's just too many problems. I'm never really thinking about, oh, what, what's, climate, what's the climate change like in the world, do you know? So do you believe anything's going to happen or not? No, I don't think anything's going to happen. I think it's just going to keep going the way it's gone because humanity is humanity. Leaven Mouth ha has one of the most deprived neighbourhoods in Scotland. Fuel bills, poor health, unemployment and poverty distract us from relatively remote problems like carbon emissions. We don't have the opportunities others have. We can be forgiven for not having everyone on board with the green transformation of Leavenworth. Not everyone cares about the rail link, the environmental project, the cycling project and nature restoration. Yet, there has to be a green transformation in the minds of people here. In the course of making this video, we've met some incredible local people and heard about some really exciting projects that are taking place in our community. However, the challenge of responding to climate change is a very significant one. We still have a long way to go. And for all the people of Weave and Mouth, it's so important that our voices are heard and listened to along the way.